Why are Mouse and Ram and Cherapunji the wettest places on Earth? The Science Behind Rainfall patterns vary widely across the world and are dependent on a wide range of factors. The topography of the land, nearness to water bodies, latitude, prevailing temperatures, wind patterns, etc. all act together to influence the volume of precipitation in a place. Now, this is no secret that Cherapunji, aka Sora, and Mouse and Ram in Meghalaya, India are the wettest places on Earth. Moreover, Mouse and Ram and nearby Sora are known for their lush greenery and visited by tourists from around the world each year. Wait, for those of you who don't know or have never been to Cherapunji, it's a beautiful high-altitude town in the state of Meghalaya, filled with beautiful countless waterfalls, grasslands, and the most fascinating, the living root bridges. It's a magnificent beauty. But that's not what we're here for today, are we? What we're here to discuss today is why do these two places receive the highest annual rainfall in the world and what are the forces at play? Maybe these places are overly blessed by the traditional rain gods, or is there a scientific explanation for this annual phenomenon? Well, we have the answer to that. So sit back and watch this video till the end because today we'll be answering all your questions and doubts. This video is dedicated by Factolic Channel to TNT, the Northeast Today. This is me, Scott Leffler from Buffalo, New York, and let's get started. Even though Cherapunji and Mouse and Ram lost its title to Mahabalashwar, Maharashtra last year, but this only happens once in a blue moon. For decades, Cherapunji and Mouse and Ram have always been the wettest places on Earth. First, let's look at Mouse and Ram. This place receives the highest annual rainfall which is about 11,871 millimeters annually. On the other hand, Sora is located only 15 kilometers from Mount Ram in East Kashi Hills district of Meghalaya and presently it's the second wettest place in the world. Sora receives an annual rainfall of 11,777 millimeters which is just 94 millimeters shy of Mount Ram. Sora also holds two Guinness World Records for receiving the maximum amount of rainfall in a single year, 22,987 millimeters, it's about 905 inches, of rainfall between August 1860 and July 1861, and for receiving the maximum amount of rainfall in a single month, 9,300 millimeters, or 370 inches, in July 1861. Before we start analyzing both, do you know how rain occurs? As simple as that may sound, however, we often fail to answer the question. If only we had paid attention at school. Jokes apart. Well, water is always moving. Rain that's fallen where you live may have been water in the ocean a couple of days before. Weird, isn't it? Water can be in the atmosphere, on land, in the ocean, and even underground. It gets used over and over again through what's called the water cycle. In this cycle, water changes from liquid, solid, and gas, which is water vapor. The water vapor then gets into the atmosphere through a process called evaporation. This then turns the water that's at the top of the oceans, rivers, and lakes into water vapor in the atmosphere using energy from the sun. The water vapor rises in the atmosphere and there it cools down and forms tiny water droplets through something called condensation. So, is it because of the highest condensation that Cherapunji stands out? Well, that's there, but there's more reasons for it. Cherapunji and Mausan Ram receive rain from the Bay of Bengal arm of the Indian summer monsoon. I hope it's clear up till this point. Now, these monsoon clouds fly without any obstruction over the plains of Bangladesh for about 400 kilometers. Thereafter, they hit the Kashi Hills, which rises abruptly from the plains to a height of about 1,370 meters above the sea level, within two to five kilometers, after which the rest of the job is done by the geography of the hills, which with its many deep valleys, channels, the low-flying moisture-laden clouds from a wide area to converge over the Cherapunji and Mausan Ram. The winds then push the rain clouds through these gorges and up the steep slopes. The rapid climbing of the clouds into the upper atmosphere hastens the cooling and helps vapors to condense. 
so most of the rain that happens in Cherrapunji and Mausan Ram is the result of this air being lifted as a large body of water vapor. Ausl, orographic rain is a common feature in the northeastern region of India, and the extreme amount of rainfall at Cherrapunji and Mausan Ram is perhaps the best known feature of that. Now, if you wonder what orographic condensation is all about, well, Orographic precipitation is produced when moist air is lifted as it moves over a mountain range. As the air rises and cools, orographic clouds form and serve as the source of the precipitation, most of which falls upwind of the mountain ridge. Some also spills a short distance downwind of the long narrow hilltop and are sometimes called spillover. On the lee side of the mountain range, rainfall is usually low and the area is said to be in a rain shadow. Very heavy precipitation typically occurs upwind of a prominent mountain range that is situated across a prevailing wind from a warm ocean. Since the major part of the rainfall that occurs at Cherrapunji and Mausan Ram can be attributed to the orographic features itself, it is certainly not surprising to find that the heaviest rainfalls occur when the winds blow directly on the Kashi Hills. Now, the high amount of rainfall makes the region have numerous rivers and scenic waterfalls, which are a sight to behold, attracting tourists from far and wide each year. Also, the dwellers of Mouse Ram and Cherrapunji have adapted to the wet conditions and never leave the house without an umbrella. The residents make basket-like covers with reed to block out the rain as they work in the fields. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Well, that was all for this video. So, now you may want to show off whenever you see rain in Cherrapunji.